a pair of AL clubs. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Minnesota Twins. At your home for Major League Baseball, 2K Sports. And to look at Kevin Slowey. We'll see him. He goes to the mound. Welcome. It is a great day here in Minnesota, and we are live at Target Field. Welcome to 2K Sports. Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Kruk. It's MLB in the dog days of summer. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? Well, one of the things you'll notice about Kevin Slow is he throws a lot of strikes. He's not afraid of contact, and that's a great trait for a pitcher. Now, he doesn't have anything overpowering, but he trusts the defense behind him, and he understands the base on ball is his enemy. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup Ozzie Guillen's got going. And the White Sox won last night. A good start winning games one and two of this three-game set against Minnesota. Well, I don't think anyone can complain about how this team's playing. Not the fans, not the front office. Sit back, watch, and enjoy. And this game gets going with a strike. And a lot of things have been going their way in this hot streak. Well, they sure have. Anytime you win eight out of ten games, you know that every facet of the game is working well for you, and that's what's so impressive. Johnny Damon on a swing and a miss. That's going to be strike three. I just don't think you can make it any easier than that. Three Alexi. pitches up, down, Ramirez. see you later. He's already back at the bench. And it's Alexei Ramirez now, one away. Right. Swings and misses the slider, 0-1. I saw the ball well last night, picking up two base hits in that game. Swing and a liner to right center. And there it is, that's their first hit of the ball game. All the way to the wall. And he's in at second with a double, one up. Well, this pitch right here catches way too much of the plate, and he absolutely demolishes it. Let's see what they want to do here with one out and a base open. And here's Paul Konerko. Slowy with the pitch. Lined hard deep down the right field side. It comes off the wall and right. And Ramirez is home. Now batting. Well, you always feel really good when you can drive in a run for your team, but especially in the first inning, it sets the tone for the rest of the game. And uh, runner on, Carlos Quinton will hit. Getting out in front, any time of the ball game, you want to do that. Now you try and build on it. Well, that's a good piece of hitting right there to take an early lead in this game. Now he swings, hits this one very high, deep left center field. Goodbye, home run, a two run digger. A little distance now, increasing their lead one to three. Now White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting Second big hits. Baseman, number 15, Gordon Beckham. Swing and a shot to third. And Beckham set down. We'll take a moment here to show you how the twins will stack up on defense. Steve, keeping an eye on anyone? Well, Joe Maurer behind the plate can really handle the pitching staff. He also has a very good throwing arm. That's uncommon for a guy six foot five with such a long delivery. So Alex Rios, he'll try and keep it going. Lifetime 289 off the Twins. Runs a little early that time, 0 1. Well, great movement on that two seamer right there. Had him way out on his front foot. Strike Kevin two. Slowey, strike two. Let's see if he goes right at him. Slowy with the pitch. You're out. Got him. And they're able to avert any more damage. Side retired. Great execution, knocking in some runs right from the get-go. The White Sox are out in front, three to nothing. And doing the pitching, it'll be Eric Bedard. He gets settled in for Chicago. Steve, focus here against Minnesota. Well, veteran left-hander Eric Bedard out on the mound. He's been hampered by injuries in recent past, but when he's healthy, he's productive. Quality, command of the fastball, outstanding breaking pitch in the field for the changeup. As a hitter, you have to be ready for all the different pitches.
swing and a soft liner to the right. And the leadoff fan of this ball game's on board. See if they get it started early. Pepsi presents our starting lineup. Here's a look at the twins. So who are you looking at, John? Well, Michael Kadire throughout his career has been a run producer and a power hitter. And let's look for that to continue today because if he's putting the ball in play and he's swinging the bat well, he can generate a lot of runs for this team. First pitch is a curveball outside, 1-0. Here's Bedard with a 1-0 pitch. Ground ball towards second. The second for one. And a deuce, a double play. Nice play, especially on the relay to first. 4-6-3. Uh, it's textbook right there. Taylor made double play. Hit it where they are and turn it. And it's Joe Maurer now. He has a 5-for-16 lifetime against Bedard. Two outs, bases empty. Hit on the ground towards second. Beckham throws on to first in time to retire the side. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. The White Sox still ahead. Leading it off, A.J. Krasinski. Catcher, 12, A.J. Krasinski. Slowy with the pitch. Hit sharply towards the hole. And so Pierzynski retired. Still a bit of baseball left to be played in the season. Here's what the Central Division race is looking like, courtesy of State Funk. First place, the White Sox. Second place, the Royals. In third, the Indians. In the fourth spot, it's the Twins. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. The Chicago White Sox on fire right now, back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before, and now they're doing everything right. Slowey gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Uh, just out in front of that sinker, and he comes up empty. Line drive, and that'll put Tien on first. Coming to bat for the Chicago Well, a little action going right now for this team. A single here with one out. A little bit of momentum. Let's see if they can bring him across. And it's Jim Tommy in the box now. Right there in the top five in home runs. Slowy with the pitch. Slider just misses 1 and 0. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out. The guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Swings, hits this one very high, deep to left center. And bye bye. That's a two run homer. The lead is five thanks to that two run shot. White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Number 18. Damon. First pitch on the way to Damon. So he gets him to swing and miss for a strike. You now we talk about a game of production, Steve. Uh, the home run, the runs, they are piling up in this game and so early. And that's why they really need to get this offense shut down now or this game could get out of control. Swing sets this one pretty well. Deep right center. It's off the wall in right center. And he pulls into second base. That will be a double. Shortstop, number 10. Alexi. Well, he swung the bat well in the last game, getting two hits, and he seems to be continuing it in this one. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Slowy gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Well, the two-seamer has his timing way off. He swung and missed. Swung way too early. There's a swing and a hit. This one's to span. That's two gone. Rank-wise, now let's take a look at where the Minnesota Twins sit in the American League. Fourth in batting average. Fifth best for hits. And they also show up in the top five and on base percentage. That will go a long way to their ability to score runs. The more runners you get on, the more right chances on. you have to score runs. Can't wait long enough for that one, and he starts out with a strike. Right Kevin two. Slowey, strike two. See if he goes right at him. Fastball swung out and missed, and the sides retired. Well, they had a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. 
White Sox, they've got a commanding five run lead. Big bet. And welcome to those of you just tuning in, 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. First pitch of fastball, that's in there for a strike. Lifetime 289 off the white side. Bedard gets set and delivers. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. This one's grounded hard up the middle. Beckham. And Kadaya retires. Number 16. And Kubel's in the box. One out, faces him. Strike and Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he could drive. They pounded a fastball down and in for a strike. Grounded up the middle. And Ramirez feels the ball. And that'll set down Google. Number one. And it's J.J. Hardy on the plate. Base is empty with two outs. Right fastball one. swung out and missed. 0 and 1. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it or he's got no chance to hit it. That one is hit well. Quentin's there. And that's going to do it in this half inning. And a good half inning there, gone in short order in this one. Minnesota still looking for the bats. Part of the order due to bat next. A fresh, gentle breeze and a terrific day for a game. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. Well, Twins losing their last game. Chance here to at least prevent the three game sweep. They hope to go one and two against Chicago. Now, and these guys have only won two of their last 10 ball games. And you talk about a team struggling on the road, this is it. Right. Slow, he gets him to swing and miss for a strike. It's not about breaks uh, in this losing uh, streak right now, it's about the fact they're not playing very well. Well, absolutely right. And you know, once you continue to, to get on a losing streak on the road, it starts to eat away at your confidence. And Goble tracks it down. And Beckham's in the box. He's averaged 391 lifetime off the Twins. And here's the first one. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. This one into the alleyway should be extra bases. And he's in at second with a double, one out. But a good job right there getting on base here with one away, standing on second base. Now a single will score him. And Mauer's calling for the pitch, headed for the middle. And that's going to be a base hit for Rios. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. Well, this guy's always a threat to go. He steals a lot of bases, so they're going to have to keep a close eye on him, and maybe they'll make a mistake to the hitter paying attention to the runner. It's going to be Przinski. Grounded out his last time through. Gets one at second. And the deuce of double play. Quick half inning there. It's over five pitches. White Sox five. Minnesota nothing. It'll be the bottom third of the order coming to the plate. Beautiful sunshiny day. Weather could not be nicer. Number 20. Tolbert. Tolbert at the plate. And he lays it down. He'll try to beat it out. And Brzezinski picks it up. In time for the up. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. 
and they're also number one in hits, a lineup that puts the ball in play, finds holes, and gets themselves on base. A real bonus to scoring runs. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. Damon, as he moves over, puts it away short left. Third base. Number eight. Punto at the plate. Two outs, bases empty. Really bad pitch right there. It's a ball. 1 0 now. Let's the 1 0 pitch go by. 1 0 1. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four seamer down and away. And he tries to get one down. Bedard, he'll throw one to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. And a good defensive half inning. Three up, three down. The White Sox. And if you just joined us, our broadcast of Major League Baseball on 2K Sports with John Cruck and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. And here's Mark Tian. Slowy with the pitch. Uh, and he can't catch up with that one. 0 and 1. The pitch. And that's a strike. Mark Tian's going to have to take. Very close approach on the next one. Hitting such a mental part of the game and coming off last night when he had three hits, he's got to be feeling good. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. But when you're getting guys out with three pitches, you know you're dominating. That's a time when you know you are definitely in the zone, and he was on that at bat. And as Jim told me in the box now, right there in the top five in home runs. Starts him out with a curve ball for a strike. a strike. Tomei is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Swings, clobbers it deep. Left center field. Out of here. A home run. Now the third home run in this game off this pitcher. So they're starting to figure something out. He can't be in there much longer. Let's see if we see some inside stuff coming up here. Called on to do the hurling now. He's been chosen to take over out there. Well, this wasn't the type of start the pitcher wanted, or the manager wanted, or his team wanted. Now they've got to see if the bullpen can do a little bit better. White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They that ball is belted deep left center. That ball is way back there. Tell it goodbye. Remarkable. They now lead by seven with that solo shot. Well, back to back shots right there, and certainly the offense coming to life, Gary. Well, this pitcher's got to figure this out, or he's going to be gone in a hurry. You now they got to get somebody warm. Now and it's Alexei Ramirez, Ramirez now, one away. Alexei Ramirez. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. There's a swag and a ball hit deep into right field, still going. Gone a home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Well, back to back to back right there, Gary. I mean, three in a row. They are just locked in on this guy. He's not fooling anybody. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. Here's the pitch. Swings on that first pitch. Misses the fastball. 0 and 1. Uh, this is showing that he can pitch inside head up the middle and another wow that hitting coach is smiling 
now coming to bat. But the Chicago well, that's White three Sox consecutive right hits he's given up. He can't be out of gas yet. He just has to bear down and get somebody out. They don't want to go to the bullpen this early in the game. And uh, runner on Carlos Quinton will hit. Leading the MLB in batting average. Oh Catcher can't control it. Here's the pitch. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. Just a solid offensive player, day in and day out, and a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Swing and a miss, one and two. A great changeup right there. You see how far out in front of it he is? Strike three. Clinton on a swing and a miss. He's out. Here's the four seam fastball coming at you in K Camp. Get a better look. And Beckham's in the box. One for eight hitter lifetime against Brian Dunson. Here's the first pitch. Strike one. Can't connect. It's 0 1. Here's the pitch. Strike, strike two. two. Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. Well, they went at him yesterday with a pitch that he could drive, and he took advantage of it and took it deep. Ball. Fastball is a waste pitch that time. One and two. Well, you see there, he tried to go on that outside corner down and away. Give the hitter a lot of credit, though. You know that's a pitch you can't hit, so don't even swing at it. When the catcher looked like he really wanted that one. Now coming Let's check out the league hit Chicago leaders, White courtesy of State Farm. Center fielder, number 51, Alex Rios. Here's Alex Rios now, RBI chance. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. And he starts Rios out. Hit sharply towards the hole. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. The quality approach at the plate, day in and day out, that consistency is critical to their success. Two outs, bases loaded. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. 1 for 6 lifetime against Brian Dunson. Good eye by A.J. Pierzynski lays off that one an even count. Here it comes. This one's grounded hard up the middle. Throws on to first side is retired. But they strike for three runs here all coming thanks to three solo homers. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. We've got the top of the order coming up. As again, taking a look at you right there. He's watched his club stake out a nice advantage, probably thinking about making sure his pitching plans keep up with the runs. It's Denard Span to lead off. He singled in his last at bat. First pitch to Span. And there's a called strike. Look, Gary, they really can't seem to mount any offense at all. I mean, one hit through four innings, and you know, you really have to look at your approach at the plate. Swing and a miss. This pitcher being very aggressive throwing strikes. I think he's going to try to get him to chase. Bedard gets set and delivers. You're out. And the Nard Span comes up empty with that swing. Strike three sets him down. Center fielder. Okay, Cam's going to show us the four seam fastball here. And it's Delman Young at the plate. Base is empty with one away. First delivery to Young. That one lofted in the air. That one gets down for a base hit. So that brings up Joe Mauer. Still a bit of baseball left to be played in the season. Here's what the Central Division race is looking like, courtesy of State Fund. It's the White Sox in first, second place the Royals. Third place goes to the Indians. In the fourth spot, it's the Twins. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. In the top AL Central, we all thought the White Sox would finish down on the pack, but instead, they're sitting on top and making this all look silly. 
The first pitch. Bedard gets him to swing and a miss for a strike. Here's the pitch. Couldn't pull the trigger in time. He's behind 0-2. Ball in there, struck him out of number two. Well, 90 miles per hour on the gun, but still not much movement. But just a great sequence of pitches right there, and it only took him three. Boy, that's about as fine a job on the mound as you can get. Lined right at the second baseman, and Kadai has got himself a single. Good offensive chance here. It's kind of lean in, Steve. Slap that thing the other way on that kind of pitch. Well, you can't pull that pitch. If you do, it's going to be a ground ball to short. You want to punch it to right field. He's one of the best at doing it. Starts him off with one at the knees for a strike. Now that he's established the strike zone down and in, he can elevate a pitch or go with something soft away from the hitter. Swing and a miss. He's behind 0-2. Towards the middle, Bedard throws on to first in time to retire the side. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. Minnesota still looking for the bats. And the batter's box is Tian, and one of the top ten averages right now. Mark Tian. First pitch to him. He's looking a little confused out there right now. He just swung at a pitch that was in the dirt. Well, he's having some kind of season this year, Gary. Really, the guy leading this team's offense and some kind of offensive production. Swing and a miss on the slider. One out. But Gary, he's not messing around, going right at him on the 0-2 count. He didn't waste anything. He just went right for the juggler. One out, bases in. The pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, this is what you need to do. You need to put up some zeros right now. Get some outs and get your fielders back in the dugout to swing the bat and try to make up this deficit. And that's a strike. Tomei is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling right now. Goodbye, home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. It's Damon at the plate. One out, nobody on. Fielder, number 18, Johnny Damon. And here's the first one. It's 0 1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. And a big, big offensive day, Steve. Like you said, uh, they've just got the bats rolling today. Uh, tough. It's going to be very tough for them to come back right now. The, the power numbers being there. I mean, three innings left, but an awful lot of offense. That one swung on. Hit in the air deep to left field. This one to Kubel. As he drops back and puts it away. And a shot here for Alexi Ramirez. Two down. And uh, at the plate. One of the tops and runs scored, top five. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. This one's blasted, high, deep, center field, way back there. Goodbye, home run. They add to the lead, man, what a big day these guys are having. Well, that's number right. two on the day for him, Gary. That means that bat's right on target. Well, he's picking up the ball very well. And here's Paul Canerco, well, leading the league in home runs. And he starts Canerco out. Ball one. And he looks at a fastball in there, one and one. His lifetime average 262 against the Twins. One one pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider. One and two. Now if you're watching the ball game last night, you saw him pick up a couple of hit up the middle. And in there for a base hit. He's three for four today. 
Stepping up to the plate. Well, he's having no himself one. a day right here in this one. Two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. And the runner on, Carlos Quinton will hit. He's the league leader in hits. First pitch to Quinton. Hot shot towards the hole. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average. First in hits. And he's also first in on base percentage. That knack of getting on base better than anybody else. He can spoil a pitcher's pitch, work the count. He knows the strike zone extremely well. Cut on and missed on one. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. And it's in there. They're going to try and score Canerco. Canerco's going to try and score here. And Canerco will score. Stepping up to the plate. Well, a big two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. This man's doing what he has to do to help his team win. Mowers calling for the pitch. Strike one. Out in front on that one. Strike one. Roush sends the 0 1 pitch. Strike That's two. a strike and it's 0 2. Time for Rios now to protect. You're up. Ring him up. Strike three. But boy, what a solid offensive inning that was. For Brian Dunsing, that's a very tough inning. Not what he wanted. Up next, it'll be the twin. Do up six, seven, eight in the lineup. Here's JJ Hardy leading it off. 0 for one thus far. JJ Hardy. Hardy settles in first pitch. Plug out and that ran in and got him. Now when you get hit with a curveball, it doesn't hurt so much. Plus you get first base. Tolbert at the plate. Oh, Gary, we see that guy get hit with a pitch. I mean, sometimes, listen, as a pitcher, you just lose the grip on the ball. It doesn't come out of your hand the right way. You end up hitting somebody. And the question after you've hit a batter, like we've seen here, Steve, is as a pitcher, getting your focus back. Yeah, but listen, it's only one runner on. Take a deep breath. Get yourself back and settle down a little bit and, and make sure you're right. And Eric Bedard delivers strike two. He's in control in this AB. Oh. They need more offense right now, Gary. I mean, you know, only leaving two runners on base. You know, we're moving through the middle part of this game, heading into the later part of the game. I mean, they need to give themselves some opportunities to score runs. Patience at the plate. Get somebody out. The and they get it. They turn two. But Gary, get a chance to look at this double play on the replay. And this is an outstanding effort to make the catch. Get to the bag and make the throw. That's a rally killer. And that's going to deny the chance at a big inning here. Bedard gets set and delivers. Strike one. Starts him off with one in there for a strike. Now that he's gotten the four seamer down and in, look for him to go outside now. Ball. That misses for a ball. Now if you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball out. Oh. That's ball just about had him, and it's a 2 2 count. And this is bounced foul to the left side. Swing and a bouncer up the middle. Fielded by Ramirez. Throws on to first, side is retired. Nothing doing here in this half inning. Minnesota still looking for the bats. Leading it off, A.J. Krasinski. 0 for 3 to this point. For 12, A.J. Krasinski. Now the first pitch. Swinging and a miss, and he falls behind on the count 0 1. A 272 lifetime average against the Twins. Back there in deep left center. Into the alleyway. He'll likely get extra bases on this. 
Now He's in there at second base, still no one away. Martian looking to knock in a run. Struck out swinging his last time up. No outs, runner on second. Rush with a pitch. There's a swing, a ball hit high, deep, straight away left. Over the wall, a two run home run. Two run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had. Uh, Gary, sometimes when a hitter goes up there and looks for his pitch and gets it, he can drive it out of the park. Now, what we're talking about, Steve, is going to the plate with an idea. He had one and it worked. Now, sometimes even a bad plan is better than no plan at all. Now, and Jim tell me. For the Chicago White Sox, designated hitter, number 27, Jim Tillman. Bases are empty with no one out. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Oh, and one. Strike one. Roush got him to swing 0-1. Oh, well, you viewers at home, if you'd like to see a lot of fireworks, hang in because right now it's just all over this yard. Now the power being shown off here. Another home run, and it's a highlight reel of power. Can't connect on that. Jim Tomei up empty on a swing. Here's the slider coming right at you in K camp. Get a better look at that. And it's Johnny Damon now. One out, nobody on. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swing, hot shot, and it gets through. He's had the swing going today on base three out of five. Now batting for the Chicago well, a guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ball game. Alexi Three hits right Ramirez. now so far. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? And it's Alexei Ramirez now. One away. One of the best batting averages in the league. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch to left center. Two away. And he'll have to hold it first. Rank-wise, now let's take a look at where the Minnesota Twins sit in the American League. Third in batting average, fifth best for hits, and they also show up in the top five and on base percentage. That will go a long way to their ability to score runs. The more runners you get on, the more chances you have to score runs. And here's Paul Canerco. He's the league leader in ribbies. Rush with a pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out. A guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Now well, he just continues to swing a hot bat in this one. Is that four hits for him now? Yes, it is. Two down. Runners at first and second. First pitch to Quinton. There's a ball. Hit well. Deep in the center field. Way back. Way back. Gone. Goodbye. A three-run shot. Okay, I'm not sure what he's trying to do right here. You got two guys on base and you throw it right down the middle. Well, you're just hoping to get away with one and instead you give up a three run homer. I think you have to start considering taking this guy out of the game. Oh, and we've got Jose Maharas on the mound. The Twins bring him in to relieve. Johnny gets going here against these White Sox bats. What are you expecting? Well, Jose Mahares comes in the game, and here's a guy that's a left-handed pitcher who's going to throw his fastball anywhere from 90 to 94 miles an hour. But occasionally, though, when he needs it, he can get it above 95. He has a hard curveball and a very, very hard slider. The 
thing about him is you better be prepared to swing the bat because he doesn't walk people. You got to be ready and be prepared. If not, he's going to set you down. Not before they tally five times, thanks to two home runs in the inning. White Sox. Punto at the plate. 0 for 1 thus far. Number 8, Nick Punto. And the first pitch. Here's a swing soft liner right side and he should have himself a base hit right there it heads into right field and that's going to bring Denard Span to the plate. Well, that's the start they wanted right there you get the first guy on with the inning no outs big things could happen now. First pitch to Span fastball just misses one and all. Okay, they've only left a couple runners on base offensively so far through the middle part of this ball game. And, you know, they're going to have to give themselves more opportunities to see if they can't come up with that big base hit. It's just not enough off there. Now Delman Young batting with a runner on first. Bedard gets set and delivered. Hit up the middle. And they'll hold him at first base. I'll tell you what, Steve, that really was a great play and well worth another look. Now, so many good things going on right there. Well executed play. There's a runner on for Joe Mauer. 0 for 2 thus far. And Mauer ready for the first pitch. There's one that's in there called strike. He looked like he was looking for a pitch out over the plate. That fastball down and in locked him up a little bit. And he leaves that one alone. Joe Mauer patience. That'll even the count. The 1 1 now. Swung on and hit. It's going to be Clinton. That one's grabbed. Side retired. And he has just been magnificent through six. Still got outs to get Steve, but he's in this one. Now, Gary, he's got his great stuff and his great location. The White Sox still ahead. And Alex Rios. Uh, had a couple of hits, four trips to the plate. Number 51, Alex Rios. Here it comes. Swing and a high drive. This could be trouble. Gone. Goodbye home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. It's going to be Przinsky. Catcher number 12, A.J. Przinsky. Here's the first pitch. Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. And Steve, uh, this is the point in the ball game where you are really putting it to the opposition. The long ball can do that to you late. Well, there's no question. I mean, you give up those home runs, and it just deflates your own team. So, offense ruling the day. Well, they're really taking advantage of him right now, Gary. Two at bats and two home runs, and he clearly doesn't look comfortable out there. A little conference on the mound might not hurt here with either the catcher or pitching coach. Base is clear, no outs. Now Maurer positions himself. Swings and misses at the fastball, 0 and 1. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. And that's a strike. Martinez going to have to take very close approach on the next one. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Swing him out, one down. They made it look easy right there. Slicing and dicing, just attacking the strike zone. Three pitches, all for strikes. Sit down. Base is empty, one out. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. Hitting 311, lifetime off Minnesota. Ball belted deep left center field, way back, way back. Gone, a home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. And we oh, said it earlier, you're up right. Now plate. he's got four. It's unbelievable, Steve, field that field he's able to show that field. amount of power. A big Nine smile field. on his face. How did I know he was going to get the four? You're a baseball kind of guy. <laughs> and Matt Guerrero gets ready to throw. He'll be relieving for the Twins now. Gone! That's a dinger! They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having.
They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. Alexi Ramirez. Nobody on base, one away. The pitch swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there. He got that slider back up the middle. Oh, and he caught it. What a play. A shot right back at him. What a play by the pitcher. You think about the infielders, third base, first base. They at least have 90 feet to react. We're talking 60 feet, 6 inches. Those are some kind of reactions. And he starts Canerco out. Swings, makes contact. It's going to be fielded by Young. That's caught. Side is retired. So they add a four spot here to extend their lead even further. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. There's a quick piece of Ron Gardenhire. He add up the pitching staff and the at bats that have not been good. And they've got some real problems now in this ball game. A smash towards the hole, played by Canerco, and he'll be tagged out along the first baseline. And Kubel's in the box. He bounced out his last time. Bedard gets set and delivers. Hit hard on the ground to short, and that'll set down Kubel. And it's J.J. Hardy at the plate. We'll try it again. Hit by a pitch as last time. Base is empty and two down. Hardy settles in. First pitch. Takes a call. Strike one. Well, holding them scoreless so far in this one and only allowed four hits, Gary. And I think a real credit to what he's been able to do. Outstanding work between the pitcher and catcher. Just a great plan of attack. It's hit foul by Hardy. Grounded up the middle. Beckham. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. And now that's seven. Count him seven shutout innings going. I think he's got the stuff to do it, Gary. I think. But Gary, they're having a big offensive day. I think that's pretty obvious, but clearly one of the major components of this offense are his at bats. I mean, two home runs. He's swinging the bat very well. Looks so comfortable at the plate. First pitch to Quinton. Slider swung on a miss. 0 and 1. He's got one hit, five lifetime at bats off career. Strike two. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. Outstanding rotation on that pitch. Look at the mechanics You're for this out. pitcher. It comes out of his hand and just falls off the table. Down on strikes there. Nice piece of pitching. And Beckham's in the box. He flew out his last time up. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a ball hit high in the air. Straight away left field. Goodbye home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. And Alex Rios up. One out. Faces him. There's a swing and a smash. One bounce onto the wall. We get a moment to take a look at the extra base hit leaders around the league brought to you by State Power. He'll hold there at second base, credit him with a double. It's going to be Krasinski. He homered back in the seventh inning of this game. Here's the first pitch. This one swung on, hit down the line and right. This is a one hopper off the wall. The throw, and Rios comes in. Now back. What more do you need to see? Now you have to question his confidence. Giving up three straight hits. Not much going right out there at this point. One out with a runner at second.
Here's the pitch. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. This one to Kubel. And he gets over to take care of business. Now the runner will have to hold it second. Here's what the Twins have in store. We wrap up the Chicago series today. After that, they'll be playing host to the Angels and the bat of Bobby Abreu. Team they rolled over last time out. That's a three-game series. And they'll kick off a road series with the Rangers. A little chance for payback there, a team that beat them the last time out. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Right one. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a ball hit high. Way back there. Gone! A two-run homer. Two-run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had. You know, Gary, can you say all world? I mean, I mean, we thought four home runs was one thing. How, what's this guy doing today? Steve, can you say intentional pass? Gary, yes, I can. <laughs> intentional pass. <laughs> Thank you. Now back they have up. not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox Matt offense Taylor, today. They look 18. so good. Johnny Gamer. Two outs and nobody on. Here's the delivery. Swings and misses. The sinker, 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. And with that strike, Guerrero is now in front, 0 and 2. Well, a lot of times movement will fool the hitter, but it looked like right here the velocity on that pitch was what caused him to swing and miss and be late. Tell it goodbye. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Pretty good ball game right there. Three home runs in a game. Go! He gets back up here, Steve. He might not want to dig in. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you, he is swinging the bat. Oh, and we'll get to see Joe Nathan pitching. Short He'll be relieving for the 10. Twins now. Alexi. Well, if I'm a manager and I'm trailing like this, I'm giving the closer the day off. He's too important to my team's success. Why burn him in a game like this? Right well, this on. is a pitcher's worst nightmare right here. Throwing it and having it crushed every single time it's over the plate. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Well, he's got great movement on that two-seamer. It's one of the best around. Swung on, a fly ball heading towards the corner and right. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Now he's locked and loaded right there. Three home runs in a day. He's obviously seeing the ball. They like this. You get a click off the bat when he hits it. Well, I'll tell you what. I want to borrow his bat. Well, it's a hitting coach dream come true right here. Everybody's hitting the ball. Nathan Spitz has swung on and missed. Steve, this lineup uh, combined with their pitching right now in a position to be unstoppable. Well, no question about it. In the other dugout, the manager's got to be thinking, what am I going to do with this pitcher? Should I get him out of there? Not before they come up with an enormous inning here, including four, count of four home runs. White Sox continue to run away with this ballgame. And for those of you catching up with us, hi, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Crook and Steve Phillips, bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Colbert at the plate. He'll start things off, bottom half, eighth inning. And the first pitch. It's fouled off. Oh. 
Bedard gets set and delivers. Right two. Slider locked him up. He's behind 0 2. A tremendous effort out on the mound in this one. We're deep into the ball game. I mean, we're getting close to the end of this one. They've only been able to get four now hits back. against him, well, and he shut them three. down and kept them off the scoreboard. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one is okay. Base is empty. One out. First pitch. And Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. He's just popping that glove with that four seam fastball. Pounded. Swung on, hit. Bedard oh, over to Canerco. Now it's two away. Number eight. Punto at the plate. One for two in the ballgame. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. Hit sharply towards the hole. Throws to first side is retired. You don't get a lot of chances to see a pitching performance like this. Now you gotta like his chances. He's been unflappable the entire game. The White Sox still ahead. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. Try and do a little more damage here. Already five RBI. But Gary, he's been an absolute nemesis today. I mean, he's so locked in right now. And Two home runs in this one, and obviously they got a chance to run away with it. First pitch on the way. Now a swing, and the ball hit high and deep, way back there at the warning track. Out of here. Goodbye, home run. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Okay, that's his third quality swing of the day right there. He locked in on the first two and once again drive one out of the ballpark. Coming and back. Beckham's in the box. Chicago White Sox. Second place, number 15, Gordon Beckham. Nobody on base and nobody out. Nathan with a windup. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. Off the wall on a hop. Stops at second. Two back. On base percentage leaders. Every team needs them. Here's our State Farm leaderboard. These guys really understand the nature of the game. They understand that they cannot help the pitcher retire them. They force the pitcher to throw it over the plate. They can put it in play and get a base hit or they'll take a walk. First pitch, here it comes. Well hit towards the middle. That's one away. Good piece of situational hitting right there. Man on second. You've got to get him to third. Even with the out, he does it. Good piece of baseball. Man on third with one away. The pitch. Swung on and missed 0 1. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. Swung on and missed behind now 0 and 2. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss. Slider, two down. A pretty healthy break. 88 mile per hour breaking ball. Well, sometimes you get pulled so badly, there's just nothing else you can do but hope and pray that you put the ball in play, hopefully foul, to get another pitch to hit. And Mark T into bat. In 15 lifetime ABs, he's picked up two hits off Nathan. Swung on and missed. Strike one. Well, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. 
This one to Kubel. And that's going to do it in this half inning. Well, they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. A look at the manager, Ozzy Guillen. He has to be very pleased right now riding this one out. It's Denard Span to lead off. Last time up, flew out. First pitch to Span. And he takes a call strike. They just have not been able to mount any offensive opportunities in this one. I mean, two runners left on base. We're in the ninth inning here, so this has been all about pitching. Looks at a ball, one and one. That one's too low, Bedard missing. The 2 1 pitch. 2 1 pitch, and he watches the fastball go by for strike two. Velocity and location are absolutely critical. That pitch was exactly where he wanted to throw it. Oh. And it remains 2 and 2. There's another foul ball as Span uh, works this count. Well, he's doing everything he can to stay alive on this 2 2 count. A nice defensive swing. Make sure he just got enough of the bat on it. Hits it foul. Now let's see where it goes from here. Down on strikes there. Nice piece of pitching here. This is the effective use of the fastball. You can move it around the zone and hit your spots. They go down and in right there. Looks like the hitter was thinking of that. Looks at one. That's in there for a strike. That's a good hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one now. There's a swing and a liner towards first. And Conerco makes the catch. Now you're hanging on for one more out. Now he's going to take a little extra time to regroup right now. Throwing a shutout in this day and age is pretty tough because offense usually dominates. It's Morales at the plate. Strike started off the at bat 0 and 1. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. And on that play, it comes to an end, and Steve, we get to witness one of those rare events, a shutout. He was in absolute command right from the start. Gary, game like this doesn't come about without some solid defensive play, and he had that behind him. And congratulations on the goose egg. Fans going home unhappy in this one. Their offense just did not get it done as the opposing pitching just shut them down. Wow. Now we award our Pepsi Clutch performer. Well, you know, when you're facing a tough pitcher, it doesn't take long to realize that we're in for a tough day. And this team found out very early how tough this pitcher was going to be on them in this game. He's a top flight starter, but he had everything going and mowed down this lineup. And this sends a message to the rest of the league also that this guy is for real and ready to go. And we got to see a terrific performance out of their starter. And he was able to ride that one on to victory. Well, an outstanding effort. He had everything working today. The good stuff and location to shut down the opponent. And that's going to do it for us here. For Steve Phillips, John Crock, I'm Gary Thorne. Take care.